Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith, 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 the Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down, man. Y'all know I do it. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos. As soon as I drop them, press that like button, man, to help me get my videos through the YouTube universe. Great. Appreciate y'all as always. But right quick, man, I saw something on Twitter via the Falcons Wire, and y'all can go check them out on Twitter at the Falcons Wire. Um... Nate Davis of USA Today wrote a post uh, last week in the USA Today column about 10 destinations for Aaron Rodgers, and uh, the Falcons' name popped up. And y'all know, man, I love Lamar Jackson, but the trade um, compensation that it would take to get him to Atlanta is just far too much. And if they could find a way to cut down on those first-round picks and maybe add a player, uh, I would think about it, but... I'm Baltimore. I just let him go and go where he want to go. Then he has, he can get the money he want, and uh, you can just move on. But we know that's not going to happen because they're rebuilding in certain parts as well. But Aaron Rodgers is another. Um, it's another whole uh, can of beans. Um, Nate Davis had him going. He had the Falcons sixth overall out of ten teams. As to where Aaron Rodgers possibly could end up. And, man, before I get started on this, do not fry me, but think about what he's saying in this article that I read. And I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can see it. And this is not coming from me. This is coming from something I read. And uh, y'all draw your own conclusion. But it says from a fiscal point of view, they have more cap room, roughly $57 million. And he's talking about the Falcons. It's going to be way more than that. Uh, because I think Mariota is going as well. Um, that any team aside from the Chicago Bears and Rodgers isn't going to deal getting dealt within the division to the franchise he already owns. The Falcons trade offer could also begin with a top ten choice, number eight, especially specifically this year. Uh, Atlanta additionally offers a bright offensive mind, and I don't know where the hell they got that from. And Arthur Coach and Coach Arthur Smith. And a nice real young weapons, Tyler Algier, Drake London, Kyle Pitts. And given the state of the NFC, especially if Brady leaves and he retire, actually, uh, easily winnable. And that's absolutely correct. Though this could concurrently be considered the kind of rebuild Roger is interesting. And given that, and I agree with that too, even if Atlanta might be playoff caliber in 2023, it's a stretch to think that the Falcons will suddenly be a Super Bowl contender. And he's absolutely right, man, in all his aspects of this article. And uh, a lot of y'all are probably going to say the same thing. Um, but if you look at it, he's a four-time MVP. He's a Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP. He's been around the block and back. He's almost 40. But what would kill me is that contract. And then, I mean, he, you could probably get him from less than what you could get Lamar Jackson for because of the contract. He signed a four-year, $134 million contract. And that's right. I said $134 million for four years. And as I'm looking at it on sportstrack.com, 2023, his yearly cash is $59.5 million. And see, he made sure he got his money up front because he wasn't playing with him. But their dead cap space is $99.7 million, which is nearly half of the team's salary cap uh, if he gets traded. Or if something happens to where he gets cut or anything, they're going to be on the hook for it. Lambo going to be empty for a couple of years because they wouldn't even be able to sign the guy that um, that served sausages in the booth uh, because ninety nine point seven million is uh, that's roughly half the salary. Even even though you know it get boosted every year uh, from sponsorships and all that good stuff because it's two twenty four this year, uh, but. I don't care how much you go up, but 99.7 is just not happening. But when I'm looking at it, it says they have an out next year in 2024 where the dead cap is much cheaper at 24. And that's much, much cheaper because Matt Ryan dead cap was 40.8. So that's way more manageable. And his yearly cash is 49.3, which is cheaper. Uh, but the last two years of the deal, and who knows he will last to 43, uh, is 20.9 and 15, which is way more manageable. Uh, then the 59 and the 49 the first two years. So the first two years, he gets most of his money. And um, the last two years, it's just changed. Uh, but 
I agree with this to a certain extent, but I also agree that Atlanta would not bite on it because what they're offering or what they have to give up to get him is too much. And let's be real. We're not Super Bowl contenders yet. We still have a good little building to do, and this would just halt that building. And don't get me wrong. I want a quarterback that can take us to the Super Bowl. He can do it. We do have the weapons, but at the same time, we're still building on the defensive side of the ball, and it would just be too much. So let's keep it real, man. Aaron Rodgers to the Falcons would not happen. And don't get me wrong. As he said, we have weapons, but the compensation would just kill us, man. Um, but would Aaron Rodgers want to come to Atlanta? That's the big question. Um, I don't think he would. I think he's one of those guys that has to be in the limelight like a Miami or San Francisco or Dallas or, you know, a team that's been around the block. Even the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think he would go there before coming to Atlanta. Uh, but when I look at it, man, I think um, overall I would have to say no, even if we could afford it and even if we did put in an offer. I would just say no, man, because uh, Diva Antics, he's put up with the Green Bay Packers the last five years. You wouldn't want that kind of counts in your organization or your locker room uh, if shit don't go his way. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's about team and not about person. So um, we'll see, man. But that's just my thought on that. That's just a reaction uh, to Nate Davis's uh, column uh, in the USA Today. But y'all drop those comments. Y'all know how we do it on the sports machine. Let's debate. Let's have fun. It's your boy Antoine Smith-Smith signing off. I will holler at y'all later, man. Peace.